the quantities which determine the magnetic field of the earth at a place are called magnetic elements of the earth. We will now learn about declination, dip and the horizontal intensity of the field H. Declination The angle subtended between the geographic meridian and the magnetic meridian is called declination. The figure represents magnetic meridian MM, OG represents geographical meridian GM, angle GOH is called angle of declination represented by theta. Let us now do an activity to determine declination at a place. For this we will use a sundial. Do you know what a sundial is? Let me explain how to make it. Let us fix a drawing sheet on a drawing board. Vertically fix a long rod longer than 30 cm at the center of the sheet. Arrange the drawing board with the vertical rod in an open place. This setup is called a sundial. Now keep marking the tip of the shadow cast by the rod at equal intervals of time between 11 am and 1 pm. Also mark the time for each shadow position. The line joining the shortest shadow and the foot of the rod is the longitude at that place. This gives us the geographical meridian of a place. Now place the rod with a plotting compass and mark the line north-south at that place. This gives us the magnetic meridian at that place. The angle subtended between the above two lines is the declination at that place. The angle subtended between the direction of the total intensity of the earth's magnetic field I and the horizontal component at a place H is called the angle of dip or inclination. Look at this figure. In the figure, OV represents vertical component V at a place. OH represents the horizontal component H at a place. The resultant intensity of the earth's magnetic field is represented by OI. The angle HOI represents the dip at a place denoted by the letter alpha. Dip of a place is determined by an instrument called dip circle. The resultant intensity I of the earth's magnetic field acting along OI can be resolved into two components. A, H is the horizontal component represented by OH and B, V is the vertical component represented by OV. Here, H is also considered as one of the elements of the terrestrial magnetism. H is equals to I cos alpha V is equals to I sin alpha. From these equations 1 and 2, V by H is equals to tan alpha. Thus, the relation between I, V and H can be obtained as I square is equals to H square plus V square. Note that the horizontal component H at a place is perpendicular to the plumb line at that place. It is aligned with the magnetic meridian and with the geographical meridian. As the magnetic elements of the earth at a place have specific values, any place on earth can be uniquely identified by these values that is I, V and H. These values are very important for navigational and aviation purposes. We will now observe the values of these elements of magnetism at some very important places. These values were calculated in 1992.
let us now summarize what we have learnt today. The study of the earth's magnetic field is called terrestrial magnetism. Declination, dip and horizontal components are called the elements of magnetism. The space or region around a magnet in which a force is experienced by a magnetic pole is called the magnetic field and is usually represented by the letter B. Magnetic lines of force is a line joining any two points close to each other in the direction of the magnetic field. The number of magnetic lines of force present per unit area is proportional to the intensity of the magnetic field in that area. The number of magnetic lines of force present per unit volume and perpendicular to its cross section is called as magnetic flux. The poles of geographical meridian and the poles of the magnetic meridian are oppositely named. The geographical meridian and the magnetic meridian do not coincide. The geographical axis and the earth's magnetic axis also do not coincide. Such lines are called skew lines. Well, we come to an end of this interesting chapter on magnetism with that. I am sure you all enjoyed it quite a lot. This is me Vinay signing off till we meet the next time. Bye bye.